Sir Willem, Sir Willem. I'm a falling Sir Willem, Sir Willem today. I'm a maiden Sir Willem, Sir Willem. But I'm dying Sir Willem, Sir Willem in pain. Yes. As you wish. Now's better than later. Blessed be the Maker and his prophet Andraste. Your pathetic Maker is nothing compared to my glory! I command you, show yourself, demon. Hide in the shadows no more. You dare to command me? Let us see if your precious Maker can protect you now, worm! At one time, I considered myself quite the warrior, but you accomplished here what I never could. But something still isn't right. I feel there is more to this. Nearby, the building next to us, I can feel it, just on the other side of this wall. Let us go.
think you are safe? Though the Golden City has fallen, I have seen your face and your light. I am your... Save your pedantic chant for your sermons, Templar. You have killed my brood. The Maker compels you. Show yourself. The Maker. There is no Maker. There is no Golden City. But there are demons. Yes. I hear not your blasphemy. By Andraste and all the Divine after her, I order you to face me! You delusional fool! We have done it again. I feel the darkness receding. I have seen the work of demon before. Some malefic carum can sort with them, but the Maker must have guided me. And now, you die! Oh, it's good to see you again, friend. You were so generous to me before, and these are... other veterans. I'm an orphan. Oh, and, uh, uh, an orphan. Please, my lady, can you spare some coin? I am insulted. A veteran campaigner, am I? And Oli is as bereft of parents as anyone's ever been. My mom is especially dead. <laughs> no need to mention that, Oli. Will you help us? Thank you, sir. You are too good to us. Ah, there you are. I was about to send out a search party. I have been hearing of a great commotion in the alienage. What exactly happened there? 
Make her forgive me. I should be appalled that such a thing could exist here. But I'm overjoyed you can implicate Logan. We must end the civil war quickly. What the Blight does not corrupt in this land, politics surely will. The last of our allies have arrived in the city. We cannot delay any longer. I will call for the Landsmeet to convene. Bring Alistair and join me at the palace as soon as you are ready, Warden. Now's better than later. My lords and ladies of the Landsmeet, Tyrn Loghain would have us give up our freedoms, our traditions, out of fear. He placed us on this path, yet we should place our destiny in his hands? Must we sacrifice everything good about our nation to save it? A fine performance, Aemon. <laughs> But no one here is taken in by it. You would attempt to put a puppet on the throne, and every soul here knows it. The better question is who will pull the strings. Ah! Here we have the puppeteer. Tell us, Warden. How will the Orlesians take our nation from us? Will they deign to send their troops, or simply issue their commands through this would-be prince? What do they offer you? How much is the price of Ferelden honor now? There are enough refugees in my Benorn now to make that abundantly clear. The South has fallen, Logain. Will you let Darkspawn take the whole country for fear of Orlay? The Blight is indeed real, Wolf. But do we need Grey Wardens to fight it? They claim that they alone can end the Blight. Yet they failed spectacularly against the Darkspawn at Ostagar. And they asked to bring with them four legions of Chevaliers. And once we open our borders to the Chevaliers, can we really expect them to simply return from whence they came? What's this? There is no slavery in Ferelden. Explain yourself. There is no saving the alienage. Damage from the riots has yet to be repaired. There are bodies still rotting in their homes. It is not a place I would send my worst enemy. There is no chance of holding it if the Blight comes here. Despite what you may think, Warden, I have done my duty. Whatever my regrets may be for the Elves, I have done what was needed for the good of Ferelden. Indeed, 
Do we not owe it to Merrick to see his son on the throne? If he were a true son of Merrick, I would not hesitate to swear fealty to him. But I see nothing of Merrick in this pup. But enough of this. I have a question for you, Warden. What have you done with my daughter? You took my daughter, our queen, by force, killing her guards in the process. What arts have you employed to keep her? Does she even still live? I believe I can speak for myself. <gasps> Lords and ladies of Ferelden, hear me. My father is no longer the man you know. This man is not the hero of Riverdale. This man turned his troops aside and refused to protect your king as he fought bravely against the Darkspawn. This man seized Caelan's throne before his body was cold and locked me away so I could not reveal his treachery. I would have already been killed, if not for this Grey Warden. So, the Warden's influence has poisoned even your mind, Anora. I wanted to protect you from this. My lords and ladies! Our land has been threatened before! It's been invaded and lost and won times beyond counting. We Ferelden's have proven that we will never truly be conquered so long as we are united. We must not let ourselves be divided now. Stand with me! And we shall defeat even the Blight itself! The Warden. I'm with the Warden. Southreach stands with the Grey Wardens. Waking Sea stands with the Grey Warden. Dragon's Peak supports the Warden. The Western Hills throw their lot in with the Wardens. Make her help us. I stand by Loghain. We've no hope of victory otherwise. I stand with the Warden. The Blight is coming. We need the Grey Wardens. Traitors! Which of you stood against the Orlesian Emperor when his troops flattened your fields and raped your wives? You fought with us once, Eamon. You cared about this land once, before you got too old and fat and content to even see what you risk. None of you deserve a say in what happens here. None of you have spilled blood for this land the way I have. How dare you judge me? Let us end this. I suppose we both knew it would come to this. When we first met at Ostagar, I would never have thought so, but Ostagar seems like it happened in another lifetime to someone else. A man is made by the quality of his enemies. Marek told me that once. I wonder if it's more a compliment to you or me. Enough. Let the Landsmeet declare the terms of the duel. It shall be fought according to tradition. A test of arms, in single combat until one party yields. And we, who are assembled, will abide by the outcome. Will you face me yourself, or have you a champion? It is you or me the men will follow. So, let us fight for it. Prepare yourself. Estimated you, Warden. I thought you were like Kaelin, a child wanting to play at war. I was wrong. 
There's a strength in you that I have not seen anywhere since Marek died. I yield. I didn't just hear you say that. You're going to let him live? After everything he's done? Kill him already! Wait. There is another option. The Tern is a warrior and general of renown. Let him be of use. Let him go through the joining. There are three of us in all of Ferelden, and there are compelling reasons to have as many Wardens on hand as possible to deal with the Archdemon. The joining itself is often fatal, is it not? If he survives, you gain a general. If not, you have your revenge. Doesn't that satisfy you? Absolutely not! Riordan, this man abandoned our brothers and then blamed us for the deed. He hunted us down like animals. He tortured you! How can we simply forget that? Joining the Wardens is an honor, not a punishment. Name him a Warden and you cheapen us all. I will not stand next to him as a brother. I won't! Loghain is a traitor. We need him like we need to be stabbed in the back. Or have you forgotten how his being a great general didn't help the last time? I didn't want to be king. I still don't. But if that's what it takes to see Loghain get justice, then I'll do it. I'll take the crown. Listen to this. Can you see how disastrous a king he'd be? Putting his own selfish desires above the needs of his country? You can't seriously support him. You can't do this. My father may have been wrong, but he is still a hero to the people. Honora, Harsh. It's over. Stop treating me like a child. This is serious. Daughters never grow up, Honora. They remain six years old with pigtails and skinned knees forever. Father. Just make it quick, Warden. I can face the Maker knowing that Ferelden is in your hands. I will. I owe that to Duncan. So it is decided. Alistair will take his father's throne. I have a recurring nightmare that sounds just like this. All right. Yes. I guess it's decided then. Honora, the Landsmeet has decided against you. You must now swear fealty to our king and relinquish all claim to the throne for yourself and your heirs. If you think I will swear that oath, Eamon, you know nothing of me. Reason clearly had nothing to do with your choice, Warden. We cannot leave Ferelden in a state of civil war. We must have unity. If she will not swear fealty to you, Alistair, and renounce her claim to the throne, she is a threat to us all. What do you want me to do exactly? Kill her? I can't do that. I guess... Put her in the tower for now. Lock her up. Maybe we can find somewhere to send her. Later. Thank you, Alistair. You show me mercy that I would not have shown you. Very well then. Guards, take her away. Your Highness, would you address the landsmeet? Oh, uh, that would be me, right? Um, <clears throat> I never knew him, but from all I've heard of my father, what defined him was his commitment to protecting this land. 
I was getting there. Anyway, the Blight, yes. I may be Merrick's son, but I am also a Grey Warden. I took an oath. I swore I would stand and fight the Darkspawn, no matter the cost to myself. I can't break that oath just to wear the crown. I have to go with my fellow Warden to face the Blight. When the Blight is over, I'll come back and take up my duties, whatever they are, as King. Until then, I think Al Eamon will have to be my regent. Then I can do Merrick's memory no less honor than you do. I accept. And may the Maker bless your efforts against the Darkspawn. My fellow Grey Warden will, I hope, take Loghain's place as the leader of my armies. Shall we finish this thing together? Everyone, get ready to march! It's going to take all of Ferelden's strength to survive this blight. But we will face it, and we'll defeat it! We'd better get going. Ferelden is depending on us. You made me king. After all this is over with, they're actually going to put me on the throne. I'm still... I'm going to be the king. Congratulations. Congratulations? Why would you do this to me? How could you? I've done nothing but regret my blood since the day I was born. I don't want this. I never wanted this. I hate the very idea of it. I knew that Arlima wanted this for me, but I never did. I thought for sure that there would be a way out of it. But then you went and put me on the throne yourself. Why? And what I want doesn't factor in anywhere, does it? Funny how it always works out like that. I've just never thought of myself as a leader. I'm going to make a terrible king, you have to know that. How can I make decisions that are going to affect the lives of everyone in the kingdom? I guess I don't really have a choice in this now, do I? I'll do my best, of course, and I expect that you'll be there to help me, right? Good. Then it's settled. Al Eamon has left for Redcliffe. He says the army has gathered there and is almost ready to march. As soon as we're ready, we should head to Redcliffe ourselves. The blight awaits, right?